and welcome to this June 30th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring, once again, the 10-year Treasury yield. This is an 18-month chart. Um, the reason that we want to take a look at this again, and no, you're not uh, having a flashback. We did have the 10-year uh, uh, Treasury yield. We featured it once last week on the chart of the day, and we think it's important enough to take another look at it today. Um, first, let me explain the top part of this chart. Down the left-hand side here, you will see the yield. So this represents the yield on the 10-year Treasury. Along the right-hand side, uh, at the top of the chart, you'll see the S&P 500 value. Um, the yield is the yellow, or excuse me, the red line. So you've got, uh, uh, you can follow the action in the yield, uh, both up and down following the red um, candlesticks on the chart. And then the S&P 500 can be followed by looking at the blue. Now, a couple things that have stood out to us, and that is, the yield on the 10-year Treasury has actually been a um, kind of a precursor to what we can expect in equities and uh, what may transpire on the S&P 500. Let me give you a couple of examples. If we go back into the early part of 2009, you can see that the yield moved higher here on the 10-year Treasury, even though the S&P 500 went down and put in the low down below 700 in March of 2009. I think just about everybody will remember that low. Um, but notice that the yield actually went up for a couple of months before the S&P 500 bottomed. Then as they started moving up hand in hand, noticed that notice that the S or excuse me that the 10-year uh, uh, treasury yield kind of took off without the S&P 500 for about two or three weeks while the S&P 500 just went sideways. And then notice over the course of the next nine months or so, the S&P 500 played catch up and got all the way back and was just about uh, moving in step once again with the 10-year Treasury yield. Now, something strange happened in early April of 2010. You can see that the yield uh, had gotten back up, tested the prior high, and down here below, this is just simply the uh, uh, candlesticks on the 10-year Treasury yield chart. So you can see it here clearer how we went back up, we retested this 4% yield area, um, and then came right back down and have been in this downtrend ever since. But notice up at the top here, as we were starting down in the yield to the downside, notice the S&P 500 continued pushing higher. Once again, the yield was telling us ahead of time that the equities were about to turn, in this case, to the downside. Now, what's interesting is if we look at the red lines, you'll see that 305, 310, 315 in that area was a big resistance on the way up. And it's also been a very nice support area on the way down. But check out what we just did here over the last couple days. We actually closed on the 10-year Treasury yield below 3% at 2.97 on Tuesday. That is not a good sign. We do not want to see the yield breaking down to the downside because it's been leading the S&P 500 and our equity prices lower. Now check out the S&P. This is the black dotted line up here. Notice how we came down to 1040, went back up, put in our high in April, and we've come back down on a couple of occasions testing 1040, and once again we're doing it to the downside with the S&P finishing at 1041. This is the low close looking back over the last six months. So even though on an intraday basis, um, well, we did put in an intraday low today as well on the uh, S&P 500. I think we got down to about 1035. Previous low intradays were 1040, so we did have a little bit of movement to the downside. But the whole point here is we're breaking down on the yield. we got to be real careful. It looks like the S&P 500 is heading for more trouble. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.